welcome back so let's try to understand cypress architecture in this lecture so most testing tools like selenium operate by running outside of the browser and executing remote commands through the network okay so first let me explain how selenium or protractor or appium or whatever automation tool we have let's understand how those work and how different the cypress will work okay first i will pull up the selenium architectural image i just got this from google so you write your code and your code is wrapped as an a json file and it is sent to the browser driver again this is not the virginal browser if you have already experience in selenium if you want to run your test in chrome browser first you have to invoke chrome driver we do that with system dot set property web driver dot chrome driver so basically we will invoke one chrome driver it's just like a web browser and we will inject all our code into that chrome driver and that driver interprets all our selenium code and then pass necessary commands to the actual chrome browser to execute okay so this is how it works it will not directly interact with browser in middle there is an another browser driver um, module which it receives now for firefox there is a gecko driver so all your code will be sent to gecko driver and it's a duty of gecko driver to scan all your code and send the necessary commands to the actual firefox and it sends back the response to gecko driver from gecko driver you will get it back to your editor so this is how selenium works and that is why we say this is little slow not only selenium any automation tool because ultimately the parent is selenium jars now for example protractor protractor is built on top over selenium so the parent is still selenium that means the architecture what protractor is using is still the selenium only okay so this is how selenium does but whereas with the cypress this cypress engine directly operates inside the browser so when you write a code it directly interacts with the browser there is no proxy server between for cypress okay so in other words it is the browser that is executing your test code so here the driver is helping you to execute code by issuing the commands through the network but in cypress browser itself executing your code see the difference there is obviously that makes real impact right so as browser itself is executing cypress code this enables cypress to listen and modify the browser behavior as whole your test is on browser you can alter the dom when i say dom um, the html properties whatever you get it here you can alter all the properties and listen to it in the earlier lecture i told you that cypress automatically listen if there is any loading icon on the page and it intelligently waits right how does that happen because cypress is already sitting on your browser it will keep on listening to all your dom and it will know what exactly happening at each and every stage of your execution so with that knowledge it understands and run your test on that browser and also it alter the network request and responses on the fly we also saw that it have ability to mock the server response again same logic applies as cypress is in the browser it have ability to access all the network requests and whenever you get response cypress intelligently can stop that response and inject that mock response to this browser so technically speaking on cypress behalf browser is taking that headache of executing tests on its own platform okay it's browser responsibility to complete the test execution so that's why it is giving leverage by showing all the network request data to the cypress and also it is helping cypress to manipulate dom as well okay so if you wonder that how all these are happening 
as i am keep on stressing in the last lecture because of the architecture of how cypress is designed and that's why i told that it's a fast why it is fast here obviously by looking at this architecture you can clearly tell that tests take a time to execute but whereas in cypress we don't have all this server sending and request and responses and the browser drivers so it directly interacts with the browser and make those all test very fast in execution okay so that's how cypress varies and it open doors to new kind of testing with having ultimate control over your application as from front end and back end so using cypress you can do unit testing you can do integration testing and you can also do end to end testing it fits in each and every layer of your software development life cycle okay so generally people do it for integration testing and end to end testing but i see that recent blogs that people are also trying to use that for unit testing so that they will have one common tool for all the uh, testing types in their software project but again of course there are some disadvantages with cypress as well so when you come to browser support now it's not supporting firefox and internet explorer for now so they were telling that they are on work to make and support this browsers as well but for now there is no support for firefox and ie and the major browser which cypress supports is chrome and it also comes with a default browser which is electron so what is the electron electron is also the one of the version of the chrome basically electron uses the same rendered engine what chrome also uses but with very optimized way and it will not have all the plugins of what originally chrome provides to make it lighter weight cypress have taken the help of electron browser you can tell as light weighted browser of chromium is electron and cypress is suggesting to use electron to run all your test cases because as as it is a lightweight browser your test will run much faster than any other browser okay so we will see and understand how to run the test in chrome and electron there are so many test scenarios we will discuss in our upcoming lectures but do remember that there is a restriction for now that it don't work on firefox and ie yeah there are some disadvantages but in modern web applications for faster feedback and especially in agile environments this tool will really really help you to write quick faster and reliable automation test cases and the cypress components so i would be talking about two different tools in this course one is a test runner which i just shown but again i will again explain the how what is test runner and how to invoke it everything from scratch and apart from test runner you will see dashboard service so i will explain about dashboard service in our framework lectures basically when you run all your test cases detailed report will be given to your cypress dashboard you need to create an account in the dashboard and plug in your tests to your dashboard service so that all the test execution results along with video recording of each and every test will be present in your cypress dashboard okay that's very cool future and we will see that when we discuss about our maybe in the framework sections probably all right so i guess now you are slowly understanding how cypress is different and how it is able to provide all these features now, on high level i'm just showing these are the core concepts of what cypress provide and there are few more as well which you may not understand even if i tell now eventually when we travel in our course i will reveal one by one so in the next lecture let us see how this course is designed and what all topics you gonna learn from this tutorial and by end of this course what are the skills you gonna gain and how can you implement that in your real time so i will clearly explain by walking through the syllabus and from there we will jump into our actual installations from next section
ओके थैंक यू